the topic I want to discuss today is stop feeling sympathy for your abuser because they feel not a shred of sympathy for you. So it makes no sense for you to continually give this person chances even though they've continually treated you like a doormat. And you've got to stop making excuses for why you should stay around this person. They're, the person, a narcissist, is literally killing you, destroying your health. The sooner you get away from them, the sooner all of that stress and that weight is going to be lifted from your body and you can start feeling better. I mean, I know there's such a thing as Stockholm Syndrome, and most narcissists clear out, you know, family members, friends, because they want all of your energy to go directly to them, so they're going to make excuses and say things about people that aren't true just to get you away from those people so they can further control and manipulate you, so at that point, you might not have a whole lot of people to turn to, and that's pretty much the plan. That's what they want. So they can completely control and dominate you. But the point is, you have to... F why are you feeling sympathy? Why are you making excuses for, oh, I can just stay, you know, oh, I can do this... What's happening, I think, is a lot of people prefer negative attention as opposed to no attention. They would rather have the negative attention than to literally be alone. Be Let me tell you something. Being alone is better than being with a narcissist. It's 50 times better, okay? You have to develop a backbone. You don't need this person, nor do you need any man. People need to develop their strength and be able to do things on your own. You have to gain independence. It feels so amazing. It feels so amazing. Uh, you know, we have to get past the neediness and the... You don't need this in your life. This is toxic. This is equivalent to uh, taking cyanide every single day. I mean, it's just mental and physical torture on your body that you do not need. So stop making excuses. If you have children, well, guess what? That's even more the reason to get away from this toxic person so you can build yourself back up and be a better mom for your children. Your children don't need to see you being battered down and mistreated. That's not good for them either. So stop making excuses for why you should stay around a toxic person and get the heck out of Dodge. Start taking steps to get away from this person. You're nobody's doormat. You're nobody's doormat. No one has power over you except for the real God in heaven, not the fake God that thinks they're God here on earth but isn't. So develop your strength and be a better example for your children. You need to lead by example and say, Mommy's not going to put up with this no more. You're gonna, you need to show your children how to be strong and how they're supposed to be treated. You know, you're not setting an example for your children if you're letting someone treat you as a doormat. So, you know, we need to stop giving power to abusers. They, are, they should take up no space in your mind, and you should be taking steps to get away from them. You need to stop relating to the abuser and stop making excuses.